welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about SAA congruence theorem. It is also called AAS congruence theorem. So, pinagbaliktad lang actually. Kasi, pareho namang angle-angle side or side-angle-angle. Yung uh, congruent parts. Let us define first the SAA or AAS congruence theorem. Two triangles are congruent if two angles and a non-included side of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding two angles and a non-included side of another triangle. So let us have an example. So we have here two triangles, triangle JIL and triangle GHK. So by the markings, we have angle J is congruent to angle G. And angle I is congruent to angle H. The non-included side, side IL, is congruent to side HK. Then, triangle JIL is congruent to triangle GHK by SAA congruence theorem. Punta tayo sa next example natin. We have here triangle RDH and triangle ADF. So, as you can see, Vertical angles ang nafo-form niya, dun sa gitna. By the markings again, angle R is congruent to angle A. And then yung vertical angles, angle RDH is congruent to angle ADF. And yung side, we have DH is congruent to DF. Then, triangle RDH is congruent to triangle ADF by SAA congruence theorem. And then, our last example, we have a kite figure. So, iisa ang kanyang side na congruent, of course, because of reflexive property of congruence. So, by the markings, angle Z is congruent to angle H. And then, angle ZDE is congruent to angle HDE. And yung side natin, side DE is congruent to side DE. Then, triangle ZED is congruent to triangle HED by SAA congruence theorem. Okay, so natapos na naman natin ang isang lesson. I hope you learned something. Till my next video, goodbye for now. Stay safe everyone.